Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a solar system router. So this is pretty accurate and really shows just how unbelievably big uh, the solar system is and especially the distances between the outer planets. So we're going to start off with uh, a roll of um, paper and in this case this is you know, just uh, what you find in the shop uh, till, print your receipts. So you're just going to um, just get the roll and just go a full arm's width. So now we'll have our an arm's width of paper. Now we can just start to do some fun things. So at the front, at one end we put, of course, the sun. That's the center of our solar system. And at the very other end, even though it's not really a planet anymore, thanks to Naughty astronomers downboating it, we have Pluto. So now I'm going to start to make some folds, and this is how we construct our ruler. We go Sun to Pluto, whoops, and we're going to make that into um, going to put a little fold there. Okay. And then we're going to bring, take that half, and we then bring it again. So actually, we have a quarter. Okay. So, sun to Pluto, and then the crease again. So now what we have, we unfold from counting from the sun to Pluto. We should have one, two, three creases. Okay. The first one we're going to put in there. Uh, well, it's kind of easy because you're about as, as your arms width, you're about as wide as you are tall. So if you think halfway uh, between your width of your hands is about halfway in your body, and that is, of course, your anus. And it's just the same in the solar system. So halfway in our ruler, the middle crease is Uranus. The planet in between Uranus and Pluto, this missing gap, is Neptune. And the planet just in from Uranus is Saturn. And we've used up almost all of our ruler already just doing these other planets. So now we're going to take Saturn and we're going to fold it into the sun, put a little crease, and that's going to be the king of the planets, Jupiter. Now we're going to put a crease, so we have our Jupiter here. Jupiter to the sun, put a crease, and that planet doesn't exist. There should be a planet there, but Jupiter's gravity was too destructive to this planet as it tried to form. Instead, we just have the debris left over, and that's the asteroid belt. So there's asteroids where a planet should be. So now we take the asteroid to the sun. Things are getting really cramped in the solar system. And halfway between this crease is Mars. And now it gets really fiddly. We're going to take the sun to Mars. I'm just going to clean up my end here from the sun. So we're going to take the sun to Mars. And then we're going to fold it again. So we've got this tiny little crease. We're going to fold it again. So it gets very fiddly. Put the crease nice and strong. So now we have, we should have one, two, three creases in between Mars and the sun. So closest to the sun is Mercury, then Venus, and finally the Earth, which is, of course, packed in. So your solar ruler should look a little bit like, well, I've written the sun upside down, but the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, the inner planets are incredibly close together. There's a gap with an asteroid belt where a planet should be, but Jupiter, uh, 
just kept smashing up the planet, trying as it tried to form its gravity, kept disturbing it. Then Saturn, big, big way out, Uranus, Uranus. We keep going, Neptune, and then finally all the way at the very edge on its own, very sad, is Pluto. So there's a lot of empty space, as you can see, in the solar system. And I couldn't actually draw on this scale where the Voyager spaceship has now gone. On this scale, pretty much way, way outside of my office and probably uh, across the campus, actually, of the University of Melbourne here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed making your solar ruler.